Frank, uh, we're so grateful to have you back on. I, I know we've talked to you a couple of times. I want to ask you first and foremost about this newest report, this breaking news about this Nevada man um, who has been charged. Uh, what is your reaction to, to this charge from the Justice Department? How many more men like him are out there? Uh, there's, it's, unfortunately, there's a lot of them, and uh, it's the lone wolf thing is really coming to play now after the Timothy McVeigh and the Oklahoma City bombing to where that's the plan. But I mean, when is it going to end or when is it going to stop? Is something you know, like w this country needs a, a gun intervention. We need a, a, a hate intervention in a way, because, and everyone says after the shootings, oh, let's everyone calm down. Then we'll talk about. It. No, you don't do an intervention on a drug addict when he gets sober. You do it when he's had a life-changing event in his life that you can now work with. And that's what we're working with right now. And people just want to, you know, let's put it away and then we'll talk about it two weeks from now when another event happens. And that's what we've got to get sick and tired okay, of. I so don't care who's right politically. I just want it to stop. <laughs> you were one of those people. You, you know, you are an admitted former skinhead. When you talk about having an intervention, what does an effective intervention look like for people who hold these hateful beliefs? And if, that we see the end, that these people are going to have to know what the end result of what they believe is evil. It's evil on this planet to believe that I'm better than you because of the color of my skin. It's, it's, it's but how do you deprogram somebody from thinking that? You have to, you have to, you can't, for one, we can't fight them with other hate and, and to condemn them consistently. We have to start talking to them and have real conversations with people and not just right away shun them because that's what they feel like they've been their whole life. They feel like they've never been respected. They've been degraded their whole life and now we're going to continue doing it. We have to start having conversations with people that we think have these feelings. And I'm not saying we have to validate their feelings, but you validate them as a human being and maybe we might have some because they have to learn empathy. That's what I had to learn. That's what almost all formers learn is they learned empathy again.